to encourage members of parliament who are in NRM. We cannot continue like this. You cannot be dissatisfied within the party and know that things are not properly going on, but you are quiet in there. I think there should be an enormous disagreement or... I, I believe people should, should, should tell the president that this is not right. This is not right. You cannot continue leading Uganda like it's a monarchy. And I'm expecting to see quite a number of independents in the next election. We should make the, the, the ground so hard for Mr. Museveni to continue as business as usual. We are an, a civilized generation, an educated group, people that know what should be happening, and yet we are not doing our part, even within the NRM. And so we want to put the president to notice that this battle is not far, it, it, it's, not, it's, it's, it, it's not over yet, and uh, we are considering also going to court with you because this country you are running, you're running it as if it's your business. Even the party that we subscribe, you want to run it like your business. And so I want to second what my colleagues are saying. Besides engaging you in the fourth estate and all that, would like to go to court and, and seek interpretation of court. Because I have the blood of NRM running in my system, so is the same for each one of us. So is the same for each one of us here. We are purely NRM, and when we are here, to work with you, to work with you, sir, to work with you, and to continue to build this great revolution, sir. Members of NRM party, that there is nobody with a vision. Sure. All the intelligent brains, the doctors, the lawyers, the social workers, and even some members, you find them, they are convinced, yeah, he's the only man with, who is visionary. He's the only man who is visionary. What did they come here to do? If they know they don't even have a vision. So Ugandans, we are here to tell you that for us, we are very visionary. We have a comprehensive plan to run this country. Amen. A comprehensive plan. And we don't want other people to take away the, 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 the presidency. We must, from NRIM, we have potential candidates. So I would implore my colleagues and even the, the, the fake sake resolutions chaired by, by the man himself, that please get to know that for us we are ready. And your resolutions are not even binding. These are President Museveni's resolutions, but for us we are ready to battle you. For you, actually, they are, they are your wishes. That is what you think. The dried meat, the dried meat on a, on a stick, it's called omkaro, 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 omkaro. So somebody threw omkaro at a dog, and the dog ran away, thinking that it was a stone. But, but, but after it was meat. So this is what NRM has been throwing at people. You Ugandans, please, you wake up for your, for your own survival. Sometimes people misunderstand, oh, this is a stone. And you find that uh, Omodinga has gone this way. Why, why, why is this one running you from Omukaro? This is a... You find Amero has run away this way. So, but it doesn't matter because we say unite the many to defeat the few and isolate the enemy to the maximum. This is the doctrine of Mao Zedong. So I welcome you. Unity is and prosper. Because people can disappear. When you go to America now, the people they call Americans are not Americans. Those are Europeans who went and took the land of the, of the real Americans. The, the, the original Americans are now only 800,000 and they are in, in reservations. They disappear. Yeah. In Africa, it was about to be like that. You know, like Kenya, when I was in the primary school in the 1950s, 
we were, read, we were studying about the white highland of Kenya. Kenya had been taken over by whites. But global things happened, global events in the world happened. South Africa, of course, Zimbabwe, Rhodesia. So the, 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 the new people who are, who are in leadership, don't look at this leadership as a career, as a job. <laughs> no, I'm not in, I'm, I'm, I, I never joined leadership as a job. I joined the leadership as the struggle to, 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 to make the black people survive, first of all survive, and then prosper. So this is really the issue. Our analysis is that what you are dealing with is not just management of public affairs of these uh, Ugandans. It's not a career, your career, my career. No, it is the future of the black people, first and foremost. Please don't talk about identity. Talk about interests of, of our people. Talk about interests of, of our people, not identity. How will these people prosper? How will they be prosperous? But also wake, wake them up, because the people also were asleep, the population. So now, when we have woken you up a bit, you can see what's happening. There's now too much sugar. There's no market for sugar. There's so much sugar, there's no market. The milk, your, 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 your cattle keepers have woken up. They are producing 2.6 billion liters. You fellows, you are drinking only 800,000. So there's a surplus of 1.8 billion liters. So, you are now beginning to, to see the real politics, politics of, of the survival of your people. Akatari, the market, where is the market? People have been telling you about tribes, about religion. So, okay, let the tribes buy the, the sugar now. Uh, the other day, I visited the factory in Mukono there the one producing uh, motorcycle tires. They are producing 10,000 pairs of tires per day. Uganda is consuming only 3,000. So there is a surplus of 7,000. So, this is what NRM told you from the beginning. Said, Please, don't talk about tribes. Don't talk about religion. Talk about how to get prosperity. And prosperity means we integrate the East African market. We even create an East African federation. Because now you can see, if you don't have one political command in East Africa, even handling something as dangerous as COVID, you can't agree. This one says there is a problem, and another says there is no problem. <laughs> The people are at a very big risk. So that's why the NLM from the beginning was telling you, please, the four principles. Principle number one, patriotism within Uganda. Don't talk of, of tribes in Uganda. Don't talk of religion in Uganda. Talk of the oneness of the Ugandans because they need one another. They need one another. The Wanyankore produce bananas, bananas are consumed by people in Kampara. You, you now discover that those Wanyankore need the people of Kampara, need the people of Uganda. Some of the bananas go even, even up to South Sudan, need the people of East Africa. Uh -huh. Why patriotism? Because you need Uganda. If you want people to be prosperous, 
you need Uganda, the, the, the market of Uganda. But also, even if Uganda is united, it's not enough. You need East Africa. Uh -huh. And even, even when East Africa is united, it's not enough. You need Africa, you need Congo, you need uh, the market of Ethiopia. You need, if you want your people to be prosperous. This is the message of the NRM. From 1965, it has never changed. <laughs> you are saying of your message which never changes. The NRM message never changes. And then we say, okay, principle number three, social economic transformation.